Quarter Racing Update, Remington Park. Powered by Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Here's Dale Day. The second week of the spring meeting at Remington Park is in the books, culminating with four stakes races on Saturday night. In the winner's circle that evening, we had a mix of familiar faces, a long shot winner, and possibly an emerging star. Let's get to this week's highlights right now. Let's start this week's highlights with the Grade 1 Speed Horse Paint and Appaloosa Derby. 350 yards, more than $46,000 in the purse. Winner of the Speed Horse Grand Futurity in 2013, Major Tom was the wagering favorite in this year's Derby. He had a four-race win streak going into this event. Number 3, Turbulence, is trained by Eddie's son, Casey Willis. Turbulence won last year's Pot of Gold Futurity. G.R. Carter wrote the nine, I'm flashing the chicks. Major Tom's chief nemesis throughout their careers. Dale Day has the call. Major Tom broke sharply toward the outside on the lead early. Out there to the rail, second turbulence running along. Here comes I'm flashing the chicks now moving third. Farther out, DRC Big Red, 100 to go and rolling easy. Major Tom is back right where he left off last year, cruising by almost three. Ground control, we have a runner. Five wins in a row now for Mary Hainline's Major Tom. I'm flashing the chicks, ran second, a nose in front of Turbulence. A gilded son of Red Stormcat and the Mr. Eye Opener Mayor eyes a knockout. Major Tom was bred in Oklahoma by Gary Vaughn. 17.289, the final time, a 98 speed index. Jimmy Brooks aboard Major Tom, who now has more than $166,000 and earnings. Two-year-olds took the stage in the Grade 1 $134,000 Oklahoma Paint and Appaloosa Futurity, a Grade 1 event at 300 yards. The top qualifier, number 9, Big Red Cadillac, was the public's choice. Second favorite status was shared by the one horse, Shadow Be Quick, and number 8, Ugly Kid Joe. They're off. The Oklahoma Fame Futurity away sharply. Miss moving on in Texas Spook. SF Steel the one. Ugly Kid Joe with a good effort early on as well. Now Miss moving on puts the nose up front. Outside here comes Big Red Cadillac. It's still Miss moving on. And now Panther Quick Flash. Texas Spook. Ugly Kid Joe. Miss moving on from gate to line. They're in plenty of A 17 to 1 long shot. Miss moving on takes the Oklahoma Fame Futurity by a neck over Ugly Kid Joe. 27 to 1 Texas Spook completed the trifecta which was more than two grand. Miss Moving On, owned by Wade Leggett, bred by Charles Leggett in Oklahoma. She's by Ivory James out of Texas Four Wins by Texas Hero. D. Keener, the winning trainer, G.R. Carter, the winning jockey. The timer was stopped at 15.488 seconds. Miss Moving On now has more than $53,000 in the bank. Now to the $220,000 Oklahoma Derby at 350 yards. The post time favorite, number seven, Separatist First Down, a three futurity winner last year. He was ridden by Martin Rubelkaba. One Valiant Hero, the three horse, was close behind in the wagering. The top qualifier for the race was ridden by Jimmy Brooks. Also receiving considerable support was the two. J.J. Hitman with Berkeley Packer in the irons. One Valiant Heroes right there on top. Chase from the outside by Separatist first down in between runners. This dude could fly in the mix. Here comes VH1 running big as well. On top with 100 to go. It's One Valiant Hero there by length in the middle. This dude can fly. One Valiant Hero wins it by a full length. One Valiant Hero pulls in front by a head to win the Oklahoma Derby over Separatist first down and this dude can fly. Owned by Valeriano Racing Stables, One Valiant Hero is a Texas bred son of Valiant Hero and the feature of Mr. Jess Mare smiles all around. T.I. Cattle Company, the breeder. Eddie Willis trains One Valiant Hero who is ridden by Jimmy Brooks. A 102 speed index for One Valiant Hero 
who now has five wins from 11 starts and earnings of $199,000. The $390,000 Grade 2 Oklahoma Futurity, the 73rd running of the race at 350 yards. The fastest finalist for the event, but not the favorite, was number seven, A Political Pack. Jockey Berkeley Packer had the call. Second fastest among qualifiers was the eight, PYD Place Your Bet, who was the second choice of the wagering public. The favorite in the futurity, number two, Hate Me Perry, with tall Paul Nieto in the saddle. Paint Me Perry with a great start down at the rail. Chrome Hussey, second, now coming along the gray. A political pack and drifting way out, but coming along. PYB, place your bet. Down inside, Paint Me Perry. Here comes a run from I'm a Lucky Corona. Paint Me Perry will get there by more than a length in the Oklahoma Futurity. Paint Me Perry takes the Oklahoma Futurity over PYB, place your bet, and I'm a Lucky Corona. Paul Nieto, the winning jockey, Francisco Gonzalez trains Paint Me Perry for owner-breeder J&B Rental. Bred in Oklahoma, the cult is the son of PYC Paint Your Wagon and Baby Perry by Mr. Jess Perry. The winner had a final time of 15.077 seconds, a 101 speed index. Now two for two, Paint Me Perry has more than $154,000 in the bank. That's it for Highlights, back to Dale Day. This Saturday at Remington Park, the Grade 1 Leo and Grade 3 Decada Stakes. Nomination lists for both races read like a who's who of quarter horse racing. Here's our look at the top contenders for this weekend's feature events. The Grade 1 $100,000 Leo Stakes, a 400-yard test for three-year-olds and up, and it's drawn an exceptional field including multiple stakes winner DM Streakin' Through Fire, whose most recent win came in the Grade 1 Zia Park Championship. Seven wins in 24 starts, he's the third richest in the Leo field with more than a half a million dollars in the bank. Cody Joyner trains DM Streakin' Through Fire. G.R. Carter has the ride in the Leo stakes. After running third in the Grade 2 Bob Moore, Lano Cartel won the Grade 3 Jack Brick Stakes last year at RP, and then the Mystery Derby at Will Rogers. Most recently, he was the runner-up in the Grade 2 East Tex behind something like this. The nine-time winner from 26 outings is trained by Alfredo Gomez. Jockey Omar Reyes has the call on Lano Cartel on Saturday. Multiple Stakes winner One Famous Glass started 2014 off with a fifth in the East Tex but last year he won six of eight starts, two of those added money races, including the Ontario Jackpot Derby in October. Trained by Clint Crawford, Tony Bennett will ride one famous glass in the Leo. Wicked Courage, second from the rail in this video, won his first graded stakes last year at Remington Park. But his exploits in New Mexico made him the second richest horse in the Leo field with $1.1 million. Trained by Luis Villafranco, Wicked Courage put together a four-race win streak, ending with tallies in the Grade 1 Ruidoso and Rainbow Derbies. Regular rider Cody Jensen will be aboard Wicked Courage on Saturday. The Bill Harris-trained BF Farm Boy won three stakes events last year, topped off by the Grade 3 Two Rivers Stakes at Prairie Meadows. He's banked $197,000 in his 34 race career. Stormy Smith will be in the irons in the Leo Stakes. Number six here in the recent 250 yard Mighty Deck 3 Stakes, Feature Hero ultimately finished second. It was his first start since running fourth in December's Champion of Champions. But most of his star power comes from winning the richest event in quarter racing history the 2013 $2.8 million All-American Derby. RP's all-time leading trainer, Eddie Willis, conditions feature hero. Jimmy Brooks has the ride in Saturday's card topper. Jody Pop Zoomer set a new 440 Lone Star Park track record while qualifying for the Texas Classic Derby. The Toby Keaton trainee then went on to a length and a half victory in the grade one final. 
and earner of $220,000. Jody Pop Zoomer will have the writing services of Jesus Salazar. And hailing from the Eddie Willis barn is the winner of the recent Grade 2 East Tech Stakes at Remington Park. Something like this. His only other stakes experience was running 8th in the 2012 Los Alamitos 2 million futurity. 13 starts with 5 W's, something like this has earned $120,000 as a professional racehorse. Oklahoma Hall of Famer Larry Payne will be in the saddle on Saturday. In the $100,000 Grade 1 Leo Stakes. Now a look at the top contenders in the $50,000 Grade 3 Decada for older fillies and mares at 350 yards. The winner of the 2013 of the race is set to defend her crown, Black Rosalita, from the Luz Chavira training stable. She would visit the winner's circle again after a tally in the Grade 2 Juno's request stakes at the end of the meeting. Black Rosalita has James Flores as her jockey on Saturday, as she did in a prep race on March 7th when she ran second. The winner of that race prevailed in the Evangeline Downs Derby last fall, first prize Shonda. An earner of $89,000 and winner of five of nine lifetime, first prize Shonda is trained by Stacy Capps. 2013 AQHA champion jockey Cody Jensen has the call in the Decada. Multiple stakes winner Send Me a Candy Tree got her first graded tally in last year's Lubbock Stakes at Zia Park. A model of consistency, she's won 11 of 19 starts and lit the board on five other occasions. Clint Crawford trained Send Me a Candy Tree, G.R. Carter's in the saddle on Saturday. The Ontario Jackpot Futurity in October was the finale of a three Futurity win season for Zip Code. All of her wins have been at Ajax Downs in Canada. Another from the Clint Crawford stable, Zip Code, last ran in an Oklahoma Derby trial that failed to qualify. Jockey Tony Bennett has the call in the Decada. R. Dusty's Fury is trained by Brandon Munez. The filly broke the Hialeah 250-yard record with her win in the Mockingbird Stakes in December. She's lightly raced but highly efficient with a 4-1-1 record from eight trips postward. Jesse Lavario has the ride in Saturday's co-feature race, the Grade 3 $50,000 Decetta Stakes at Oklahoma City's Remington Park. It's time to wrap this one up and get ready for another big weekend at Remington Park. Saturday, you really should get out to the track for this, the sport's top older horses in the Grade 1 $100,000 Leo Stakes and the Grade 3 Decetta Stakes. Thanks for joining us on the Quarter Racing Update. For the entire staff and crew at Raceview Network, I'm Dale Day. See you next time.